The AS new system will allow the user to test all types of monopoint TBI injectors. Select the correct adapter for the injector you are testing. Remove the lockdown plate and lubricate the injector top and bottom O-rings and inside the testing block. Insert the injector into the adapter by pushing and twisting at the same time. Refit the injector retaining bracket and tighten with a 3mm Allen key. Place the block in the center of the display window. Connect the wiring harness provided. Make sure that the fuel pressure is fully released and attach the fuel hose. Set the display to Function 1 Prime. Press the Go key and gradually increase the pressure to one bar. Set the display to Function 2 Lead Test. Press the Go key and examine the injectors for leaks. Set the display to Function 4, Mode 15, SPI, and press the Go key. Examine the injector's spray pattern performance for distribution and atomization. Next, place the adapter block on the flow rack and press the Go key to measure the injector's flow rate. Note on the report pad any irregularities found in the injector's lead test spray pattern examination, electronic operation and flow rate values. Cleaning Monopoint TBI Injectors There are many different types of Monopoint TBI injectors still in use in vehicles today. This DVD will show how to replace the filters on two of the most popular versions. For ultrasonic cleaning of Monopoint TBI injectors, please select the appropriate cleaning tray for the injectors being serviced. We recommend monopoint injectors are cleaned with the filter in place, as ultrasonic cleaning can also clean the filter on a monopoint injector. Before removing any items from the injector, ensure you have the correct replacement parts available. For assistance, please refer to your As New Parts and Accessories catalogue. We only recommend replacing the filters on a monopoint injector if they are damaged. Replace any damaged filter before cleaning. Cleaning a monopoint injector with a damaged filter or without a filter in place could cause damage to the injector. The Bosch SPI Injector Place any replacement plastic filters in a container of hot water for approximately 4 minutes, allowing the plastic to warm and flex. Remove the plastic retaining clips and top O-ring seal. Before removing any filter, note the direction the filter is fitted. Using a pair of small side cutters, carefully cut the plastic frame of the filter. The filter can now be removed. Using the side cutters, remove the bottom O-ring. Using the pintle cap removing tool, remove the pintle cap. Using the small side cutters, lever between the injector body and the bottom spacer filter to release it, replacing the filters. Please note that forcing a filter on the wrong way or without warming it first can cause the filter to crack or break. Carefully remove the filter from the hot water and slide it onto the injector. Place a 17mm socket on a solid base and place the injector in the socket, pintle end downwards, taking care not to damage the pintle. Using the pliers, Grip the plastic terminal housing and press the injector into the socket till the filter locates in place. Fit new top O-ring seals and replace or renew the plastic retaining clip. Fit the new bottom spacer filter and bottom O-ring. Place the new pintle cap on the injector. At this time, the pintle cap will not fit correctly on the injector. Using the 8mm square bar and the injector cap replacement tool, Locate the injector pintle cap end into the tool and place the 8mm bar between the electrical terminals. Squeeze the handle of the tool, ensuring that the bar stops the tool from damaging the electrical terminals. The Bosch SPI injector is now ready for retesting. Rochester TBI injector filters can be removed by hand, so no tools are required. Remove the top and bottom O-rings. Remove top filter by holding the injector and twisting the filter till it slides off. Repeat the process with the bottom filter. To replace top and bottom filters, place on injector, 
and twist till it fits in place. Remount the injector, first flushing the cleaned injector into a waste tray as explained in ultrasonic cleaning section of the DVD. After cleaning or fitting new filters, retest the injector again following the same process as first test. Always retest all injectors after replacing any filters.